Despite watching wildlife for just over, well, 30 years, there's still one animal I've never laid eyes on and I'm absolutely desperate to see. I'm talking about Britain's rarest reptile, the smooth snake. There are three species of snake in the UK. Grass snakes have a wide distribution in England and Wales, and the venomous adder is fairly common too. But smooth snakes are incredibly rare. They're very picky about where they live, and as a result are confined to areas of lowland heath, like this spot in Dorset. Being cold-blooded, they regulate their body temperature by basking under the sun, soaking up the rays before they head off to hunt. Nobody even knows how many there are, but Chris Redding has spent 20 years trying to discover more, and he's offered to give me my first glimpse of a smooth snake. How do you go about tracking down what is such an elusive and rare reptile? We have things in our armoury to help, <laughs> and what we use is, is corrugated iron, we put that down, and that absorbs the heat from the sun, even on fairly cold days, they like the, the protection it gives and the warmth. Chris has over 400 metal sheets, and with snake numbers so low, we may have to check them all if I have any chance of seeing one for the first time. Nothing under that one, Chris. Nope. These metal shelters are also home to the snake's favourite food, lizards. But if it's taking adult sand lizards, which are quite large prey, then it probably eats four or five times a year. That all? Four or five times a year? Yeah. If they're taking things this big, then they're going to want a lot more. So if there's food, there's predators. Absolutely. <laughs> things are looking more optimistic. You've got to have both, yep. But I'm not the only one desperate to see a smooth snake. Chris needs to find them to help with his rare reptilian research. And your research work's involved in finding out how they're doing, their distribution, and to do that you need to be able to identify individuals. Yes, I need to be able to say if I've caught a snake before, who it is, so that I can follow its history. Chris has tagged over 180 smooth snakes with these tiny transponders, and they're revealing lots about their habits. Many of the snakes I have found under the same two or three tins, year in, year out, and go back at the same time of year and find the same snake in the same area. They range over an area maybe the size of a tennis court. And he's noted just how picky and specific the snakes are about where they live. They prefer trees between 5 and 12 years old and up to 3 metres tall. If the trees are bigger, they cut out the light so the snakes can't bask. And also there's less ground cover for them to hide in. And although we're in the perfect habitat, they're still incredibly tricky to find. It's a shame we're not doing a piece on ants, isn't it? <laughs> Keep finding ants. <laughs> but our perseverance pays off. It's Whoa! It's a tiddler. It's a baby, newborn. But it's my first ever smooth snake and it's trying to bite me. Look at that. Full of attitude. I love that black head, Chris. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that song! It's tiny, but it's my first ever smooth snake. I'm so pleased, Chris. <laughs> and it was probably born within the last couple of days. This little one will grow to reach about 70 centimetres. And thanks to Chris's work, we now know that they can live up to 20 years. I'm so chuffed, Chris. I'm glad I that has made my year. I've been looking for this for decades.